Dear students, we have started this chapter that is power and roots or the exponents and in the previous videos we have already discussed about the first three objectives. So today's video is going to be about the last objective that is number four to simplify using different laws of exponents. So let's get started. So students here we have the first example. So statement is simplify and uh, express as a rational number. So here we are given with some statement and we have to simplify it and we have to express this statement as a rational number. So first of all, we will see the statement 8 upon 3 raised to power 3 multiplied by 3 upon 2 raised to power 2. All right. Now, first of all, we will see that 8 upon 3 raised to power 3. It means what? We will use this rule. A upon B raised to power M is equal to A raised to power M upon B raised to power M. This rule we have already discussed, right? So, 8 upon 3 raised to power 3 means that 3 is the power of 8 as well as 3. So, you will write A raised to power 3 upon 3 raised to power 3. Multiplied by same for 3 upon 2, 3 raised to power 2 upon 2 raised to power 2. Now, 8 raised to power 3. We can further apply some law on this. That is 8 raised to power 3. Right? We can have the factors for A. So, you will have 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 raised to power 3 multiply by 3 raised to power 2 upon 3 raised to power 3 and here upon 2 raised to power 2. Now, 2 is getting multiplied how many times? 3 times. So, you will write here 2 raised to power 3 whole bracket raised to power 3 multiplied by 3 raised to power 2 upon 3 raised to power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2. Right? Now, here we will use one law of exponent that is a raised to power m bracket n which is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n. So you will write here 2 raised to power 3 multiply by 3 multiply 3 raised to power 2 upon 3 raised to power 3 multiply by 2 raised to power 2. Now students 2 raised to power 3 multiply by 3 which is equal to 2 raised to power 9 multiply by 3 raised to power 2 upon 3 raised to power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2, right? So, here we will write 2 raised to power 2. It will be same. Clear? Now, 2 raised to power 9 minus 2. Why? Because the bases are same and they are getting divided. So, you will use this rule. And 2 raised to power 9 minus 2 and down you will have 3 raised to power 3 minus 2. So, students, one thing you have to keep it in your mind that is we always have to shift the smaller power. The power is 2, so you uh, 2 is smaller, so you have to shift this smaller power down, right? So, 3 raised to power 3 will remain same here down and 2 will come down and will get minus. So, here you will have 2 raised to power 9 minus 2 will be 2 raised to power 7 and 3 raised to power 3 minus 2 which is equal to 3 raised to power 1. Now, 2 raised to power 7 means to, you have to multiply 2 7 times, right? So, after multiplying 2 7 times, you will get 128 and 3 raised to power 1 means 3. So, you will have the answer as 128 upon 3. So, we have solved, we have simplified this question and also expressed this question as a rational number that is 128 upon 3. Right? Now, move to the next example. Now, students, here we have the second example. Minus 5 upon 9 raised to power 3 multiplied by minus 3 upon 2 raised to power 3 multiplied by 2 upon 5 raised to power 4. Now, minus 5 upon 9 raised to power 3 means what? 3 is the power of 9 as a, uh, 5 as well as 9, right? So, minus 5 raised to power 3 upon 9 raised to power 3 multiplied by minus 3 raised to power 3 upon 2 raised to power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to power 4 upon 5 raised to power 4. So, whenever we are having any base and the bracket is there and the power is outside the bracket, so that means if the power is of numerator as well as the denominator. Right, so you will use this rule here. So, whichever rule we are using for solving the question, so you will have to write to the right hand side while solving the question. So, the second step we have first step we have done. So, second step is that minus 5 raised to power 3. So, you will see that uh, any of the factors that we can make. So, here 9 raised to power 3. So, you can make the factors of 9 that is 3 into 3 raised to power 3. Multiplied by minus 3, uh, 3 raised to power 3 upon 2 raised to power 3. Multiplied by 2 raised to power 4 upon 5 raised to power 4. Right? Now, next is 
minus 5 raised to power 3 upon 3 raised to power 3 is getting multiplied 2 times so you will write here 3 raised to power 2 bracket 3 multiplied by these two will be same right next is minus 5 raised to power 3 upon 3 raised to power 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6 so we are using this rule here that is a raised to power m bracket n is equals to a raised to power m multiplied by m so we will multiply them so you will have minus 5 raised to power 3 upon 3 raised to power 6 multiplied by minus 3 raised to power 3 upon 2 raised to power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to power 4 upon 5 raised to power 4 clear so next is 5 raised to power 3 is there but here no 5 is there in down you can see 5 raised to power 4 is there right so what we will do first of all minus sign is there minus sign is there two times right so you have to solve this sign minus is two time here so you have to solve it two times means like signs so like sign sign of plus so you will have to put the sign of plus here or no sign means plus sign right so 5 raised to power 3 is there and down 5 raised to power 4 that means the smaller power is 3 bases are same and they're getting divided so their power will be subtracted so 3 will come down so here down you will write 5 raised to power 4 minus 3 and next is 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 uh, minus 3 have vanished already so 3 raised to power 3 is there right and up no 3 is there but down 3 raised to power 6 is there again 3 is smaller so you have to shift this 3 down so down you will write multiply 3 raised to power 6 minus 3 now what is left 2 raised to power 4 is left and here 2 raised to power 3 is left they are getting divided right so whenever their bases are same and they are getting divided so what we have to do we have to subtract their powers so smaller power is 3 so that means you will shift 3 to the upper side so 2 raised to power 4 minus 3 clear now what we will do we have to solve it now 2 raised to power 4 minus 3 means 2 raised to power 1 5 raised to power 4 minus 3 which is equals to 5 raised to power 1 multiplied by 6 raised to 3 raised to power 6 minus 3 that is 3 raised to power 3 all right now 2 raised to power 1 means 2 and upon 5 raised to power 1 means 5 3 raised to power 3 means 3 will get multiplied 3 times so you will have 27 now 2 will remain same that is 2 upon 5 multiplied by 27 which is equals to 135 so the answer is 2 upon 135 right now students we will move to the third example now here it is 10 raised to power 2 multiplied by 15 raised to power 3 upon 2 raised to power 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 raised to power 5 multiplied by 6 raised to power 4 now here Susan you can see that 10 raised to power 2 that means you can make the factors for 10 that is 2 multiplied by 5 bracket raised to power 2 as well as 15 is there so 15 factors are 3 multiplied by 5 raised to power 3 right 2 raised to power 2 multiplied by 3 raised to power nothing that means 1 5 raised to power 5 multiplied by 6 factor also we can make so that is 2 multiplied by 3 raised to power 4 all right now students you can see here 2 multiplied by 5 right so it means what we have to use this rule a b raised to power m which means that a b means there is no sign in between a b that means they are getting multiplied right so a multiply b now bracket power m which means that this power is of a at the same time this is the power of b right so here we will use this rule 2 raised to power 2 multiplied by 5 raised to power 2 multiply by 3 raised to power 3 multiplied by 5 raised to power 3 right upon 2 raised to power 2 multiply by 3 raised to power 1 multiply by 5 raised to power 5 multiply by 2 raised to power 4 multiply by 3 raised to power 4 clear next is 2 raised to power 2 will remain same next is 5 raised to power 2 but here also we are having 5 so that means bases are same and they are getting multiplied so their powers will be added so we have to use this rule and we have to write this rule to the right hand side so 5 raised to power 2 plus 3 what is left multiply by 2 raised to power 3 is left right next is down 2 raised to power 2 is there again 2 raised to power 4 is there so that means these bases are same so we will add their powers 
Next is 3 raised to power 1 and here again 3 raised to power 4 is there. So that means base is same. So we will add their powers and what is left? 2 raised to, uh, 5 raised to power 5 is left, right? So we will write it like this. Next, we are left with what? The next step that is 2 raised to power 2, all right? Now, 2 raised to power 2 multiplied by 5 raised to power 2 plus 3, 5. Multiply by 3 raised to power 3. Upon 2 raised to power 2 plus 4, that is 2 raised to power 6. Multiply by 3 raised to power 1 plus 4, that is 3 raised to power 5. Multiply by 5 raised to power 5. Now, students, we will see that, that any other law we can apply here. Yes, because up and down, now no bases are same. Up and no bases are same down. Now, we will see up down. That means in the division. So here 2 raised to power 2 is there and 2 raised to power 6 is there. Same 5 raised to power 5 is there and 5 raised to power 5 is there down. 3 raised to power 3 is there up and 3 raised to power 5 is there down. Now first of all you can see that we will go from start from 2. 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 6. They are getting divided so their powers will be subtracted. Right. So you know that the smaller power will be shifted. So 2 will be shifted down. So, down you will write 2 raised to power 6 minus 2, right? So, next will we will move to 5. 5 raised to power 5 is there, 5 raised to power 5 is there. So, we can move any of these two. So, I am writing this 5 up and 5 minus 5, right? Next is 3. 3 raised to power 3, 3 raised to power 5. They, again, they are getting divided. So, the power will be subtracted. So, the smaller power will be shifted. That means 3 will go down. So, 3 raised to power 5 minus 3, all right? So the rule we have used here, we will write here, right? Next is 5 raised to power 5 minus 5, which is equal to 5 raised to power 0. Clear? Next is 2 raised to power 6 minus 2, which is equal to 2 raised to power 4. Multiply by 3 raised to power 5 minus 3, which is equal to 3 raised to power 2. Now the another law that we are going to use for this sum, that is 5 raised to power 0. That is a raised to power 0 is equals to 1, which means any number raised to power 0 always equals to 1. Now 2 raised to power 4 means what? We have to multiply it to 4 times. So we will get here 16. Multiplied by 3 raised to power 2 means 9. 3 3 is a 9. So now 1 will remain same and down 16 into 9, which is equals to 144. So we will have the answer as 1 upon 144. Right? So students, today we have discussed that how can we uh, how can we simplify the questions by using different laws of exponents. And I hope now all of you are able to do the related homework that we have sent you in your SNAP homework. Thank you.